<laughs> we are here in Fort Kochi and we're looking over some of the sketches of this uh, crazy shoot that we're about to embark on. supposed to shoot months ago, but there was some uh, horrible uh, flooding and uh, yes, uh, natural disaster here, so our shoot was actually postponed. But after the natural disaster, somehow the fishermen and the people coming together to save lives, somehow a little more of the human um, element became more visible. Our entire campaign is based on this. Actually, as we set out to create uh, this campaign, uh, we were thinking of this not as an advertising campaign, but as something more real. In a way, we could say, uh, you know, this was um, quite a landmark project for any destination to actually make this uh, tremendous shift, uh, humans in the foreground. But beyond uh, an advertising campaign, we think in this world that is uh, today being walled in by different ideas, it is important that um, we bring the idea that essentially there is a common humanity that we all share. It is in some way a manifesto, a possibility that the world can live up to. Right now, we're practicing the composition we're trying to achieve tomorrow because... Maybe trying to achieve tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe trying to achieve <laughs> because it's going to be very hectic because it's the morning time. We're going to start uh, setting up in the pitch black and there's a lot of different pieces here. Yeah, also I just like this spot so any excuse to come here just to hang out, I also do. Namaskara. Welcome to the backwaters of Kerala at 4 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> In the backwaters, uh, we were trying to capture a kind of an everyday commuter scenario where you have uh, a boat and a set of regular people. But when you look closely, you realize that, you know, it's a regular people, but a very irregular mix. And on either side, you have an entire scape playing out. There is a houseboat behind us, coconut palms on either side, and life happening all around it. If you go to any of these canals, you could run into such a situation. Yeah, see a little bit of turn is good. Yeah. Okay. Now, can we try the other side? I see a tiger. This is Kerala. This is Kerala. 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 Do 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 do. Hey, get back to work, y'all. So this is like a group of people uh, who have taken a break from a local festival, <coughs> spending time together. Uh, the villages of Kerala somehow are also the places that have preserved, you know, the essential cultural traditions of Kerala. One, two, three. Kuttigala dance, say that. Kuttigala. Kuttigala. I mean, the compositions are group shots presented for the frame, but at the same time, like, we want a little bit of life and a little bit of action. So I think as soon as we started getting the Tiger Man laughing, it broke it up a little bit. It broke up the seriousness because it's a celebration and it looked really good. The only thing that's uh, composited is the elephant. This is Rajendran, how many elephants? We shot the elephant from the same perspective uh, as we were shooting before, with the same light. So everything lines up together in one uh, beautiful composition. The 
basically the reason why we've gathered so early is because we're going to take advantage of the sunrise coming up. So I apologize in advance, it's going to be a little bit hectic. The forests of Kerala are, you know, in the western ghats, in the north you have uh, perhaps some of the last uh, remaining uh, tropical evergreen rainforests and around them uh, you have uh, several tribes who make their living within the forests. You have uh, farmers who have migrated from the down south of Kerala into the north. And there is a whole set of uh, uh, interdependent, coexisting ecosystem of animals, birds, um, people and trees happening. And when we shoot for real, we'll let everybody know. But we're going to place people in a general area to get it uh, situated, and then we'll give you more instructions. Uh, my friend, the ranger, can you take a step this way? A small step this way? Turn your shoulders a little bit more toward me. You're going to be basically, you're basically walking like this. The sea show was somehow very evocative because at this point we were also thinking of the gruesome or the devastating floods that hit Kerala and how these fishermen who were you know, who struggle to make a living, who struggle with the elements and the sea every day, how they became heroes of this land. It was a fisherman who actually brought their boats into the city and saved many lives. So fishermen are like supermen in Carolina. Uh, they needed these people to come out of their uh, uh, seashore and the villages to actually save the urban people. When we started out, we had this image, but we never had this connotation. It is not a beach, and when you say beach, you think of something very touristy. It is more of a seashore, and it is more of a way of life uh, around the sea and the land that surrounds it. These cities and streets have been places where cultures and colors have intermingled. The colors have seeped into each other and ideologies have merged into each other. Over the years, a very layered kind of a sensibility has evolved. And that is something very unique to Kerala. So we're shooting in Fort Kochi, in the middle of a busy street. Let me show you. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> Let's move it just a little more this way. Something like this. <laughs> yeah, and he's going to slowly walk into it and then just go back and forth. In the street image, we have tried to capture a lot of those things in terms of architecture, the father and the son, perhaps the hostess who's wearing a Kerala sari, a young girl who's perhaps you know going to work in terms of the travelers behind them. All of them together present the kind of diverse canvas that Kerala streets are. Window action, window. Chechi, how do you go? Shown by Nechavasan, not an easy job. Finding real people to model for the arts was extremely difficult. But we managed to find the actors that represent a particular region from that region itself. And the reward for the effort was human by nature. Though it was a tall task, the campaign came out well. A story is unfolding itself with a message to the world, provoking new thoughts and showcasing Kerala in a new perspective. At a time when the stations are using celebrities and brand ambassadors for endorsement, Kerala Tourism's new campaign has local people like fishermen, school children, boatmen and villagers as its heroes. We are going to celebrate the humanness, we are going to celebrate the culture, heritage and we're going to put human and nature side by side in these words human by nature. 
in some way only the travelers and only by traveling and interacting with each other and perhaps imbibing uh, what is essentially human can we take care of uh, this world and nature and somehow Kerala is the right place and has the right uh, kind of a tradition to say uh, something as beautiful as uh, a human by nature.